Conducting a Hazard Analysis Principle 1 The Goal The HACCP team systematically identifies potential hazards that are reasonably likely to cause illness or injury if not controlled. Hazards unlikely to occur are not included in the plan. Scope The analysis covers ingredients and raw materials, each step in the process, production, storage, distribution, and final preparation and consumer use. Focus on safety. Safety hazards, biological, chemical, or physical, are the focus, not quality issues. Importance. A thorough hazard analysis is essential for an effective HACCP plan. Objectives. Identify hazards and control measures. Potentially identify needed process or product modifications. Lay the groundwork for determining critical control points, or CCPs. Process Stage 1 Hazard Identification. Stage 1. Hazard Identification. Brainstorm potential hazards by reviewing ingredients, process steps, equipment, final product, storage, distribution, and intended use. Consider past health-related events associated with the product. Stage 2. Hazard Evaluation. Decide which hazards require control in the HACCP plan. Evaluate each hazard based on severity and likelihood of occurrence. Consider the likelihood of exposure, the severity of consequences if not controlled, short-term and long-term exposure effects, and the influence of food preparation, storage, and consumer susceptibility. Key points. Hazards and their significance can vary between operations. Document the hazard analysis for future reference. Risk assessments, when available, can provide valuable information. Outcome. A list of hazards associated with each step and their control measures. The term control measure is used because not all hazards are preventable, but they can be controlled. Example. For frozen cooked beef patties, enteric pathogens and raw meat are a hazard, and cooking is a control measure. Remember. The hazard analysis summary can be presented in various formats. Appendix D provides additional examples. Please see the video description below.